Hello everyone and welcome to another Computer Software Is Your Friend tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a bit of an old feature. Well, it's not that old, but it already exists and some of you might already know about it. Libraries. Libraries. They are a very, very, very nice tool. A uh, really smart idea. Um, reason is, well, simply put, you can take a folder from anywhere, any hard drive, any place on a hard drive, anywhere, and you can put it into one place without having to redo your entire organization scheme. So having said that, I pretty much just summarized that you can see files from all over the place in one place, in one area. So if you click on any of these libraries, this is the documents library, and click properties, you can change some things. For, ex for instance, you can see your personal documents and the public documents in one place. However, the personal documents here is the default location for saving, and this is the default location for uh, public saves. Okay. And essentially, you can optimize the library for documents, which can be used in making new libraries. I'll show you that later. And of course, you can decide whether or not to show in the navigation pane, which is right here. To add a folder, um, you just click add and you choose any folder you'd like. Um, let's just say that you want to add the downloads. You include the folder and let's say that you want to make it the default location. Set save location. Okay, And then the next time you come here, you're going to see that these are your folders and the downloads folder is going to be the default. Now what if you want to reorder this? Uh, very easy, very easy. You click on one of them and uh, you right click and you move up and you right click and you move up you right click and you move down very simply. So you click OK, you double click again, your downloads is here, your documents are here. Again, we can go to properties and we can reverse these changes. We can move up and we can remove and your documents is going to be uh, automatically restored as the save location. To create a new library is very simple. You can either right click new library or you can go through um, your um, You can go through the brand new way of doing things here by going to new item and library. So that's how you get to a lib. Uh, that's how you get to the creation of a new library. So now to create the new library, you click new library, you name it, downloads. It shows up right here. You double click on it, and for the first time, you're going to be asked to include a folder. And of course, you choose your folder, the downloads folder, include, and uh, refresh, and voila. Now you can access all of your downloads and all of your software installers anywhere in one place. If we go back to the libraries or to the home page, you're going to see it's right here. Now let's say that you, I'm going to now introduce another uh, old feature, pin. Let's pin it to the window to the to the taskbar. And once it's pinned, you can access it anytime. Now let's say that you want to pin it to the start menu. Uh, you right click, pin to start. Once you go to start, go to the end. Here's your downloads library. And you can pin a whole bunch of folders here if you'd like. And click on the library and it opens up. To unpin from start, you right click and you unpin from start and it disappears. So I've shown you two old features that are still in Windows 8 and how to use them in Windows 8. I think that this is a pretty simple task and I think that this is something that a lot of people are going to find uh, a natural occurrence to them as soon as they start using Windows 8 if they've used Windows 7. But if they're coming straight from XP, this is going to be as new to them as it was to Windows 7 users a couple of years ago. So having said that, if you like the content, 
subscribe button is above. Um, if you want to join us on our social media, I highly recommend it because that's the best way to stay up to date. Links are in the description and of course leave your opinion in the comments section below. Uh, what do you think of all of these nice settings? Um, sure it's passe, but what do you think of how they apply and kind of mesh in Windows 8? Think they still fit? Oh, one more thing. The unpin from the taskbar, you right click and you click on the pin. Just like that. Anyway, so that's enough for this tutorial. Until the next one. Later.